welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a review on a new diaper bag I got and I'm super excited about it. Normally I use the Skip Hop Grenick diaper bag or Green Witch. I have no idea how to pronounce that so I am so sorry to insult anyone who lives there. My apologies. I will learn how to pronounce that properly in just one minute actually. Let's check Google. Greenwich. 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 So I was completely wrong with both of those. So again, my apologies. Anyways, I'll show you that bag really quickly. Here it is, <laughs> nice and filled with stuff. I'm actually gonna be doing a update on what I keep in my massive diaper bag for my nine month old baby. But this is what I normally use for my backpack diaper bag. It is a vegan leather and I really do enjoy it. It's very large, but I'll talk about that more in my next video. The new bag I bought is the Itsy Ritzy Boss Backpack Diaper Bag. This is in the color Coffee and Cream, so I thought that was really cool. The other colors they have are just all black and a floral pattern as well. And I know Erin Williams also has her own right now and it's more of like a pink and a white and stuff. I think this diaper bag is just really cute. It's super chic and it's able to match with many different things. It has tons and tons of pockets. It is like this kind of like cloth material and a vegan leather as well. But one thing I really love about this bag is down here, you see it's like this plastic rubber kind of feet that it has. They call it feet in the tag. It's kind of like a moccasin sole and it's super awesome because when you put the bag down, it's not gonna get dirty on the actual material itself. And I feel like this would be very, very easy to wipe down. So I really like that. So the bag itself, um, it has two pretty large front pockets here, which I really, really like because I love putting stuff in pockets. I always carry like way too many things with me at all times, like practically my whole entire life. So having a bunch of pockets is good so that I can keep all those little things organized. Um, it's also got this one large pocket in the front here kind of something you can just slip things into I feel like if you have like an iPad or a small MacBook you can put your MacBook or small iPad in here when you're on the go it has a side pocket here again really awesome because I need all them pockets and then we've got a pocket here that's actually like a cooler bag you see that so you can put a bottle and keep a bottle of breast milk cold or juice or whatever it has these handy little stroller tassels which, by the way, I'm just gonna let you know now, if you have a ton of stuff in your diaper bag and your diaper bag is very, very heavy, don't put this on the end of your stroller because I've had it happen to me a couple times with my other bag where my bag is weighing down my stroller and then my stroller falls back and my kid's just like, oh my God, like what's happening? We have this other cool pocket here. It's kind of like insulated. It's like a, kind of like a fuzzy insulated pocket. I don't know what you would use that or maybe, maybe your phone or like an iPod or something that you need that's like easily accessible. In here, woo, that is awesome. So if you see that, the way it just flips down, I think that is so freaking sweet. We will show you the inside. We have this really awesome mesh pocket here that is removable. And then we have two smaller pockets up here on the side one drawstring pocket here which can also hold like water bottles or any other sort of bottles and then you've got your two pockets in here which normally would be for like diapers and wipes and stuff like that and then we've got another large pocket on the side here which again i could assume would be for like diapers or wipes but i put in my other bags pockets like that is one i have wipes one i have diapers and then the other one I just keep like little random teethers or bibs or little cloths and stuff like that that I need on the go and then we've got another tiny pocket up here holy moly okay we're not done there's also on the top here inside another pocket that could be for like a wallet that's like the size of it it's like the size of a wallet kind of thing and then on the inside of the front of the bag we have two mesh pockets there so this bag has a crap ton of pockets like i actually think it has too many pockets i would put things in all of these pockets and i would have probably no idea where to even start with finding things that i put in all these pockets i try to be an organized person at home i'm pretty organized for the most part but in my diaper bag it's just 
an SHIT show. Like that bag is a disaster at all times. Like I'm gonna tidy it up before I do my nine month diaper bag video. It's just a mess. Like I have things everywhere and I put things in different pockets all the time. So I feel like this many pockets would confuse someone like me who is not the best at putting things back when I am on the go in the places that they belong. We have one more pocket in the back here. So this is where the diaper changing pad goes. And let's pull that out. The diaper changing pad has a little magnetic latch here, so that's pretty cool. And when you open it, it says head and toes. So it kind of like tells you where the head and toes of your baby should be. So that's kind of cute. My baby just rolls off of these now, so I don't have much use for them, but you know. I really enjoy this little removable vegan leather tassel here. You can put it on a keychain or anything like that, or maybe just your stroller, just wherever you wanna put it. The backpack straps here are obviously adjustable, and on the inside they have that kind of like mesh squishy material. I don't even know what kind of material that is, but it's that material that you want on a strap of a backpack. It like keeps it really comfortable. My other bag doesn't have that, so I really like that. I bought this bag for $189 Canadian at Bye Bye Baby, and it's also $189 at Bed Bath & Beyond, so I feel like most places in Canada would sell it for around $189 mark. I was looking on the Itsy Ritzy website in the US and it was $150 US. I feel like it's a really nice bag and I am really excited to use it. I think it's super cute, it's gonna match so many things. Anyways guys, I really do like this bag. I'm super excited to use it. I think it is worth the money. Wow, just wow. Oh, I still have the plastic on there. I hope me showing you this bag and all the pockets in it helps you decide on whether or not you're actually going to buy the bag. And if you do buy the bag, I hope you really do enjoy it. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And please subscribe to my channel for future videos. I will see you guys soon. Bye! <laughs>